Okay, we're live. Hello everyone. Happy Wednesday. I'm so glad that you're here for this healing circle that we're going to focus on body appreciation. So last week we did, we had a beautiful healing circle that many had watched on the replay. And hello Suzanne, welcome. And last week was about acceptance. And this week, hi Paul, we're going to talk about appreciation. So as I was planning for this, I was feeling into, okay, acceptance, appreciation. They're really close friends, aren't they? They're like right next door to each other. And appreciation helps us to accept ourselves more. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Hi, Star. I'm glad you're here. So as you're joining right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just come on over to my to my where am I if I've been there I'm going I'm coming over so to my Facebook page so I can share this to get some other peeps here to join us for more appreciation so as I'm doing that I see that you're already writing your names in and that's good because you're putting yourself into the circle so whether you're here on the replay or you're here live i want you to put your name in bring yourself into into the group give me one moment while i do this okay and also if you share this what i'm doing is if you share this i'm going to send you one of my favorite uh, guided meditations that I have so if you are sharing this on your page or bringing some people to it Just go ahead and share it and then put share on the bottom then I'll know to send this um, guided meditation to you as As a gift So give me one more moment To share one more place and then we are ready to go And I want you to go ahead and begin thinking about how you want to bring more appreciation into your days and into your life. But what I really want to do right now is to start is to talk about what is the importance of actually appreciating our body. Like, why do we need to do that anyways? Like, what does it even really matter if we appreciate our bodies or if we don't appreciate our bodies? Well, one of the key reasons that I get really psyched up about appreciation is that it brings in more pleasure. And pleasure has got me excited. <laughs> pleasure gets me excited these days. these days. How much more pleasure can I allow into my life? We are doing so much. We have, we have the, we can look around and see pain and struggle all around us and challenges all around us. We don't need to attract more of it by not appreciating our bodies. Appreciation brings in more pleasure. So think about it. Think about maybe your spouse or someone that you're around all the time and when you are annoyed at them, frustrated at them, everything they do is just like, Ugh. what does that really do to you? Go ahead. You can even, hi Beth, you can answer that question. What does it do? Does it make you feel good? No, it usually closes you up. You're like, mm, why is he doing that? Oh, why, oh my gosh, why does my mom, or whatever it is, right? It, it doesn't feel good in our bodies. It doesn't feel good in our mind. We're not attracting them to do good things. But what happens when we're in appreciation? Oh, look at that. Look what he just did. Now, I wouldn't really do it the way that he did it, but he's doing it, right? So we're shifting it, right? What happens? There's a little bit of a breath. There's a ha. Oh, there's, it feels good. It's more pleasurable to be in appreciation. So I know you all know that being thankful and grateful is a good place to be. It's not like I'm telling you something that you don't already know. We have a whole day that we celebrated here in this, in this country, Thanksgiving, right? So we know the power of gratitude. We know the power of appreciation, and it's so true. 
But how, why it's important for our bodies is, is that when we don't like a body part. So when I say not liking a body part, I'm not just talking about not liking a part of our body that, be, that we don't like what it looks like because that could be the obvious. It's like, oh, I don't like the size of my butt or I don't like how you know my hips are this big or whatever the weird twerk thing that you have that you you know can get yourself wrapped up around. I'm not just talking about that. I'm talking about the body parts that are not working the way that you want them to work. The ones that get you going to the doctor, the ones that get you, you know, not doing and moving forward in the way that you want to in your life or even in your day. You thought you were going to do something, but now you're not because your body hurts. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about appreciation for all of that, what we look like and how we feel, right? So when we do not like ourselves and we don't like a body part, we're literally sh cutting ourselves off from this, from a part of our body. If we do not like, say, our, our belly and we don't like it, and maybe you don't like it and you are actually not even connected to it at all. You cover it, you barely pay attention to it, you never look in the mirror at it, right? What we're, hi Danny, what you're literally doing is you're, 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 you haven't integrated this part in your body. This part of you is now not a part of you because you're just like, you're not acknowledging it. Imagine having an having a person who is in your family, in your household, and you're ignoring it. <laughs> Imagine that, right? What happens to that? That part, that family member becomes disoriented, not connected, not loved, not cared for. When we pay attention to these parts of ourselves, that we may not even like, we are allowing ourselves to connect to it in a different way. And I know some of it's not, it's not a comfortable thing to do, right? It's, we, it's sometimes easier to avoid the, these places in our bodies. I get it. It's easier to avoid. But I'm gonna lead you through a process in a little while that's gonna even teach you on how to stop avoiding and, and how to actually bring appreciation in. So, hello there. So as you're joining, go ahead, bringing yourself in. And why don't we do this? I want you, if you're here, live or on the replay, I want you to tell me what body part do you like? What part body part do you like? I wanna hear it, I wanna see it. Are you here, are you alive, are you there, are you watching? What body part do you like? Let's see. Are you, are you here? Hello? Okay, well, I like my, well, I like my breasts. They breastfed and I love breastfeeding. It's one of my favorite, that's what popped into my head. Uh, it was one of my favorite things that ever happened to me was being a mother and being able, your toes, being able to breastfeed. So I'm so in appreciation for my breasts. <laughs> We like our toes. We like what other parts of your bodies? You like your hands, both of them. Great, Paul. What else? You also like your breasts, Star. Wonderful. Anyone else like any part of their body? Your smile. Yes, Jenny, you do have such a pretty smile. That's so true. Yeah, good. So I want to talk to you now about how you actually can bring appreciation into your body, how we can actually do that. So we're doing it right now is that we can chunk it down and we can find the parts of our body that we actually do like. So this opens up the floodgates, right? It gets us thinking, what do I like about myself? I never really, I don't really think about what I like about myself. People tell me, right? So that's a good place to start. What are people telling you that they like about you? Oh, I love your smile. Oh, your eyes are beautiful, right? What are people commenting about that they like about you? That's a good place to start. Also, to think about the body parts that you may, you may not normally even acknowledge and appreciate. Oh, I appreciate my spleen. I love my spleen. Oh, I appreciate 
that my toes, I love that you said toes, right? I appreciate that my toes work and my big toe helps me to ground. Oh, I appreciate my ears and the fact that I can hear. I appreciate that my teeth can chew like steak and yummy like things, right? I want you to think about all of these things that is easy to appreciate, easy to appreciate and appreciate and like, okay? You got them? Are you thinking of them? Like, like popcorn, like start thinking about them. Write them down even more for me if you want to give me some more. Like tell me and tell yourself, what do I like about myself? This is going to get ourselves your liver for functioning good. Good star. What else? Like what else feels good to think about? It, it begins to build the muscle, right? Another, another important thing to do when it comes to appreciation is to look in the mirror and not just look in your me in the mirror just to see make sure you're okay but stop look in the mirror acknowledge acknowledge something that you see or something that you're feeling in your body that feels good jenny smile yes <laughs> and your heart is warm yes it is star it is so warm yeah, so even when like with Star saying that about her heart being warm, like looking in the looking in the mirror and being like, "Oh, my heart's warm. I appreciate that about myself." So that would be another tool. So the next thing is to find a body part that you don't like. A part of you that is giving you pain, a part of you that is, "Oh, hi Carmen." Uh, a part of you that you don't like what it looks like. So I want to tell you a very specific story uh, about myself and my relationship to my good old arms here. Yes, my arms, which I have always hated. I love them now, just for the record. <laughs> but I went, had to go through a process around this. I did not like my arms at all. I used to beat them up. I used to talk negative about them. I would hide them. I was embarrassed of them. I thought my shoulders looked like football players and my arms were huge. And when I, when I would gain weight, I would gain it in, in my arms and in my shoulders. At least that's what I believed. And so I would exercise and I'd be angry with them or I would just, I would just be so mean to my arms. And I would cover them up and I just didn't like to look at them. And I would look in, in pictures and I would compare my arms to other people's arms. And I was constantly looking around and noticing these other, you know, women with these arms that were dainty and thin and, and mine wasn't, right? And when I found Reiki, I realized, well, that is like really not the way to go. <laughs> if we, if love is the answer and if love is what is healing, then how are my arms going to feel good and actually look good if I'm not loving them up? So this is the process that I want to take you on, which is this, which is to find this body part and actually begin to have a relationship with it and begin to love it up. So this may all sound weird, but the truth is weird works. It does, weird works. And we're having relationships to our body anyways by the way we talk to it. We may as well do it very intentionally and intentionally talking nicer to it. So what I did was I had my arms, I began to touch them and I began to acknowledge them and connect and be like, oh wow, you've done so much for me, arms. You have done so many wonderful things for me. You carry groceries, you, oh, you're strong. You, I mean, all the things that I can do with my arms, like I have strong arms, right? I got some muscles here, right? And I began to acknowledge that and feel that and, and I, and, and I, and then this process, which I'm going to lead you through in our meditation, is, is that I got really quiet. And I let my arms talk to me. And I asked them, how are you feeling? Like, how, like, what do you have to say to me? And my arms were like, why don't you like me? I do so much for you. 
I'm just here. It's not my fault. <laughs> you don't have to carry the weight of, of the world on your shoulders. Relax, please, like me. And from listening to that, remember I said weird works, is that I began to have a different relationship with them. And I began to appreciate them. And I began to love them. And I didn't go to the gym with the idea of like working them out because that's what I have to do, right? Because my arms are gross, right? No, it's like I want to connect with my arms. I want to give appreciation to my arms. So this is... This is uh, the meditation I want to lead you through, but I want to also talk to you a little bit more about uh, appreciation and dieting, appreciation and exercising, appreciation and being healthier. Because what I find is, is that a lot of people, most people have these goals that they set and the goals that they are setting around their body around losing weight, having an exercise regime, or eating healthier all come from a place of pain. And I know pain is a great motivator. I, I, I get it. It really is. I'm not saying that it isn't. And sometimes that pain can wake us up, right? It can wake us up. But then we need to shift it around and we need to allow pleasure to take over. So instead of pain being the motivator, like, I don't like what I look like, I'm going to stop eating all this food, I'm going to use my willpower, we need to, and this is what I tell like all my clients and the people that I work with, is we need to find a deeper why. Why do you want to lose weight? Why do you want to exercise? Why do you want to eat healthier? It has to be deeper than just losing weight. It has to be deeper than the fact that you do not like yourself and you want to change yourself. No, it has to come from a deeper appreciation. Like, oh, the way that I'm eating is not helping me to live vi with vitality and for me to thrive. Oh, I'm not exercising enough. I want to feel strong. I want to feel confident. I love how it feels after I exercise. I have breath. And then getting really clear in your relationships. What does it do with your relationships? Are you able to run around with your grandchildren more because you are, are more fit? Are you more like psyched up and have more sexual energy when you're eating healthy and you're not like stuffing yourself before you go to bed? What's your deeper why here? That's where appreciation comes in. That's where pleasure comes in, is in that deeper appreciation. And that pleasure will, is what will fuel you towards these actions of, of embetterment, towards these actions of, of wanting to feel good, of even losing weight or whatever your goal is, right? I'm, I'm not a big advocate for weight loss, but I'm just saying like there's, I'm not, not a good advocate for it, but I, I'm not an advocate for weight loss when it comes to dieting and over-exercising and pushing ourselves around. I am about, about supporting people to make healthy choices and appreciation comes in, in with those healthy choices. So what I would like, does anyone have any questions? If you have any questions, go ahead and write them here. And I will, and if you're watching this on the replay, go ahead and write in your questions, write in your comments. I always go back and I check to see if anyone asks a question and or has a comment that they would like me to comment on. So if anything comes up for you as we're moving along, ah, I am here to answer. Okay, so we're going to do a meditation. And this meditation is an appreciation meditation that uses Reiki healing. So Reiki, I know a lot of you on here already know what Reiki, Reiki is. It's a universal life force, uh, force energy that heals the body, it releases stress so that we can heal ourselves. So I have the, the privilege to be able to send Reiki to you right here, right now, uh, through the cosmic switchboard. And Reiki is essentially love. So if you're watching the replay, you're still receiving the healing. You're here in this circle, in this vortex, and, and it is here and present for you, okay? So what I want you to do is, ideally, you can lie down, but maybe some of you are at work. <laughs> so ideally, find the, the most comfortable, the most quiet space that you can be in. And then go ahead and just close your eyes. 
Now, if you are listening to this and you're watching this and you're not supposed to be, <laughs> just see if you can relax something, right? So we're relaxing our body and we're finding our heart. So go ahead and place your hands on your heart. And I'm just connecting to you all, even on a deeper level. I'm feeling into each of you that are here with me. I'm feeling our hearts connected, sending this Reiki energy out to you all. And a nice way to be connected to this is to say internally or out loud, I receive, I receive, I receive, I open, I allow, I receive, I receive. And by saying that, you're saying, I receive love, I receive love, I receive appreciation, I receive more Reiki. So we're inhaling and we're exhaling. Beautiful. And as you do that, you're relaxing your body. Your hips are relaxing, your belly is relaxing, your eyes are relaxing, your toes, your whole being begins to relax. Find your, your breath. And breathe in fully and breathe out fully. So I want you to imagine that your breath goes the whole way down your body to your toes and on your exhale comes the whole way up and out. And as you do that, just imagine that your breath is connected to the energy of appreciation. So you may not be feeling it, but I want you to intend it. So you're inhaling appreciation, you're exhaling appreciation, you're inhaling appreciation, and you're exhaling appreciation. Three more breaths just like that, inhaling, exhaling. I breathe in the energy of appreciation. I exhale the energy of appreciation. I think we have one more. Inhale. And exhale. Mm, wonderful. Sense, visualize, or imagine a big ball of golden light above your head. This is connecting you to the energy of Reiki. Imagine that this big ball of golden light has all of all the great intentions for you for your life and specifically for your body, for body appreciation. Imagine that this big ball of golden light has everything that you need in order for your body and for your being and for your life to feel more full of vitality and for you to be thriving. And imagine this ball, big ball of golden light is now pouring golden light upon your whole body. Feel it streaming down. Feel it streaming down. Hello, Tamea. Streaming down all around you and going straight through your body. And I love to say yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. And now from that, I want you to put your hands on a body part that you know that you love and appreciate. Put your hands on a body part that you know that you love and appreciate. I love and appreciate my neck and my throat. And tell yourself why. I appreciate my neck and my throat because it has this voice that I can share this wisdom with you. Think about what is it that you love and appreciate about this body part. Beautiful. Take one more body part. Place your, that you love, that you appreciate, that you know you have it dialed in with appreciation for. Put your hands there. And tell yourself why you love and appreciate this body part. What do you appreciate about it? How has it served you? Why do you have gratitude for it? And now I want you to take one a one body part that you that it is your biggest sore point. It is the part of you that is in pain, that has caused you pain, 
whether it is emotional pain because you don't like it and what it looks like, or it is a pain that, um, that has caused you physical pain. So I want you to put your hand there. And I want you to put your hand there. You may have, haven't touched this body part in a long time. Because like I said earlier, sometimes we avoid this body part. So I want you to put your hand there. And I want you to acknowledge that you are touching this part of you. And I want you to feel into if there is any appreciation that you can feel about this body part. What has it taught you? So I'm touching my knee right now. And my knee is, uh, has a lot of pain and it keeps me from doing things that I like to do. Like I wish I could run. I wish I could do certain physical activities that I can't. It brings me pain when I'm sitting in the car. So I'm, I'm tapping into this, my knee, and I'm thinking, what has this body part taught me? I want you to think about that. What has this body part taught you? My knee has taught me how to slow down and to listen to myself. What is your body part taught you? body part taught you. And I want you to see if there's a flicker of appreciation that you have for this body part. Now remember, as we're doing this, Reiki is pouring onto you right now. It is opening you up. You are receiving Reiki right now. Is there a flicker of appreciation for this body part? Now I want you to take your hands and I want you to touch and I want you to give love to this body part. Love it up, touch it, love it up. And now I want you to get very quiet. And if you're watching this live and you're not able to dive into this as deeply, I want you to come back to this, okay? Maybe before you go to bed. But if you're here with me now, I want you to get quiet. And I want you to listen to what this part of your body has to say to you. What information does it have for you? So be quiet and listen. Maybe it has feedback on how you could actually take care of it more kindly. Maybe it actually has wisdom for you. So feel if you can connect to that. We are creating relationship with this part of us. We are integrating this part back into your being by doing this right now. Allowing this part of you to, to talk to you. And now I want you to maybe share something with this part of your body. Maybe it's some sadness. Maybe you feel sadness about how it's just shown up. Maybe you feel sorry for not taking care of it. Maybe you feel remorse. Maybe you feel happy that you've connected to it. I want you to go back. I want you to be with this and share to your body part. If you can do this out loud, great. But if you can, if you can be with it internally, And sharing my process, I'm sharing with my knee that I'm so sorry that I override your pain and I don't listen when you don't want me to run or you want me to stop exercising and I don't because I like to get my heart rate up or whatever the reason. I'm sorry for neglecting you. I'm sorry for not doing my knee exercises the way I could be. Like I'm, I'm sorry for not showing up for you completely, 100%. What is your body part saying to you? And now to end this meditation, I want you to tell this body part three reasons why you appreciate it. Three reasons why you appreciate your body.
And I appreciate my knees for being so willing to let me walk around this world. I appreciate my knees for letting me, even though it's in pain, to still kneel down with my child and play. I appreciate my knees for the pain that it gives me because it has taught me how to slow down and how to not override myself. And it's teaching me how I have even more that I can learn in that, in that way. Now take your hands and just touch your body. Bringing yourself back into the space. Connecting. Touch is such a great way to connect to ourselves and to bring more pleasure in and more appreciation. Deeply inhaling and deeply exhaling. And if you're with me right now, go ahead and open your eyes. And if you'd like to share with me, I'd love to hear how that experience was for you. What did your body part say to you? What did you feel? Were you able to connect to your body in that way, in that, in the, it, having that type of relationship? Are you, was it strange? Did it, how was that for you? Please share with me now in the comments. And yeah, it can take a little bit of time to get used to actually talking to yourself. It was calming, good. Uh, to actually start actually listening to what our body is saying. But that's where the pleasure lies, right? So through the sadness, through the discomfort, on the other side of that is connection. And connection brings in more pleasure. Connection allows us to feel more. So your next said, it was tired of being uptight. And you forgave. Yeah, good. That's great. And, you know, uh, start just going even deeper in, and I'm, I'm sure you already did this, but I'll just use this as an example, that when we hear something, we're just starting the dialogue. It's like now we can ask, you know, you can ask your neck, what can I do for you today? How can I be with you? Oh, you're in pain today. How can I take care of you better? What can I do? Oh, my neck says I need a chiropractic appointment, <laughs> right? Or, oh, my neck says, please just relax, touch me. My neck says, please forgive your friend, or whatever it is, right? So this is a practice. Appreciation is a practice. And appreciation is a practice that, that we can pr practice every single day, every single moment. And like I said before, you find the parts of you that already, you already know you appreciate. The parts of you that you know that have always been there for you. And you may not even acknowledge them because they're always working so well. That's where we can start. Then we can go deeper. Okay, we can go deeper. We can touch. We can feel. We can ha start having this dialogue. Ha! <sighs> And that was my appreciation breath because that felt good. <laughs> so I would love to hear from anyone who is in deeper need of going into deeper appreciation and acceptance for the, your body. That's what I'm here to do. I'm here to support women, men, to feel good in their body, to let go of their relationship with dieting, beating themselves up, not talking nice to themselves and doing things in a way that is not helping them to thrive. That's what I'm here for. Please reach out to me if you need support. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm so excited to share that I have a new online program, group program that's coming up very soon. I'm figuring out the last tidbits of it and it's called the pleasure plan. And this is going to be able to, uh, I do a lot of workshops locally, but this is going to be able to bring a lot of people together, a, a group program on how to bring pleasure into your relationship with food, with your body, with movement, with self-talk, self-care, and your sexuality. And it is really, really going to expand our mind and expand our being and to bring more pleasure because pleasure is everything. Pleasure really allows us to receive ourselves and our lives so much more. 
Thank you so much for coming. And I see Georgia, you are here. Yes, you're feeling a little anxious. First day back at school. Hmm, sending you love and light. And sending love and light to all of you. Please share this with others. And I wish you an amazing day. And I will see you soon.